Hello everyone, we're Moss Charmley. Today we're going to show you how to make a crosshatch brush in Krita. We're going to start by altering the Screen Tone Moir brush, which is a pre-installed brush that you can find in your brush presets. So if you go up into your brush presets and you go into the little drop-down menu, you can find it in ink or textures. So you just click on textures and it's that top one. Screen Tone War. Now, we're going to alter this brush because this is the base for creating that crosshatch brush. So the way to alter it is to go into the Edit Brush Settings menu. And that's this little icon up here with the lowercase eyes on the side and a little squiggly line above it. So you just click that. You could also press F5 as like a, a hotkey. Mm. Oh, so we're going to go into brush tips. We're already fiddling around with this, mm -hmm. but we're going to go and start off by pressing brush tip. Mm -hmm. This is just a, where, you know, usually you will you will already start out at. Yeah. And all this looks very, very confusing, but honestly, don't worry. If you follow the exact steps that we're going to go through, you're going to have the brush that you're going to be looking for if you want to create a hatching brush. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh... Here we go. We're going to mm -hmm. start off. We're going to go into hatching options yeah. right this, down in this menu. Yeah. Oh, yes. No, no, no. Yeah, I just wanted to ex tell, say that um, the Screen Tone Moir brush uses the hatching engine to create the effects that this brush has. So this is exactly the brush to do what we want to do. Yeah, it's fancy. It's <laughs> create a fancy brush. It is. Okay, going into hatching options, which is right under brush tip. Mm -hmm. And this is where the magic will mostly happen, to be honest. So we're, we're gonna show you on the side here, on the scratch pad here, we're gonna show you what brush, you know, the hatching screen tone noir brush does, mm -hmm. just to show you an example. Yeah. It's really kind of neat, has mm -hmm. a really cool effect. It does, it's really neat. So mm -hmm. we're gonna uh, use the little trash can on the mm -hmm. bottom to, to start over, out. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Here we're going to show you uh, all the little settings on this this page here. Mm -hmm. So uh, it starts out with angle. It's just going to familiarize uh, with it when you want to edit it too. Yeah. So here's angle. So this will change the angle of the line. You could type it in or you can have a quick one or use this little cool menu. Yeah. Here you have separation. That's actually the setting to... Um, uh, separate the lines from each other so they'll actually be further apart you know so, yeah, yeah like the right? space and distance the space of those and distance, lines exactly and then the thickness is actually that it's actually the size of the line itself so if you want a, a, a larger line you make it thicker yeah. yeah and then origin x and origin y that is a vertical and horizontal like um, quadrant of where this specific screen tone wire brush um, uh, will lay down that actual pattern. So it's kind of like if you alter these, the pattern will move a little bit to the left, a little bit up, a little bit down, whatever. But when we're altering it to become a cross hatching brush, you don't have to really worry about the X and Y axes. Yeah. So here we are. Um... This is where the cross hatching style is. It's right below all of yeah. these, all the <laughs> slide bars. And if you notice down at the bottom of this little section, Moir pattern is selected, or it's got a little pip on there. So that's actually the specific pattern for this brush. So yeah. And yeah. what we're going to want to do is select the perpendicular lines only. Yeah, so, perpendicular yeah. plane only. And here on the side, we're going to show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So it makes that nice cross hatching. Little cross hatching brush. And it'll lay it down just like that. Now this is where it gets interesting because if your say the you know if you go into your actual uh, illustration that you're trying oh, yeah. to create a first we'll just temporarily oh, save right. the tw save tweaks to presets right here on the bottom. That's important. so when you want to check uh, check make sure you check this mm -hmm. when uh, you want to test it exactly. so you can know where you're at. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna uh, test that and then we're going to go to the drawing. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna just test it, just to see. I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, I don't like that. It's too, it's, it's way too, too big. big. So, exactly. so we could just clear go that back. Out. Yeah. You could go to edit. I think is where. Yeah. yeah. And clear it. And then clear. Awesome. And then we can go back to the brush edit settings. 
and then we're like okay we didn't like that it was it was pretty big so let's change that uh Separation. separation so that'll make it a little it's bit like, of a denser pattern yeah and you can kind of see it up here in the top yeah you can kind of see so it makes a denser pattern mm. so it's like ah, oh, mm. that's kind of nice but like, like let's make the thickness. lines a little thinner yeah experimenting with this is important because depending upon the line thickness of your line work or your line art um, you're gonna want to make it look you know aesthetic you know you want it to, to look what you want yeah, for your you know I mean? your art because if it's too thick or it's too thin it might not actually look very aesthetically pleasing or, or actually seem like it's part of the same image it's just like a strange weird thing happening so experimenting is very very important yeah so yeah i and think we got it i think so okay we're gonna close it out use the trash we can can. give another experiment okay also when you do this we can experiment on the actual image. Yeah, do um, it. If you do, if we do this, you can also change the brush size itself. True. Because sometimes these, the actual uh, size of the brush, it'll either be a really small brush or a really big brush, but you know whatever you want to define that area. See, that's kind of cool. So yeah. it can work out. You know what I mean? That's really nice. I like that. It's th it's a lot thinner. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is a lot thinner. I would make the the brush a little bit, the lines a little thicker. Yeah, let's that try that. Cool. Can we change the lines, make Heck it a little yeah. thicker, because it might Should get go, lost a little bit. Go and back to that brush editor. Yeah, make, make the lines a little thicker. thicker. There we go. Let's test it on the little scratch pad. There we go. Okay, let's check it out on the actual. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Oh, we clear it out. Yeah. Let's clear it first. Mm -hmm. uh, clear. Boom. Give it a go. See, oh, I like that That's better. That's nice. It's a lot more defined for me. Yeah. I like that. See? And nice. that's what it takes. Just a little bit of experimentation to really get the look you're going for. Yeah. Kind of oh, cool. I like that. That is super easy to create a brush like that. So if you like this brush, now this is when you're going to want to save this brush. Okay. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to walk you through how to save it. So yeah. go back up to that edit brush settings mm -hmm. or press F5, I think, if for... Uh, Little quick mm -hmm. key. Yep. Not hot key. Hot key. <laughs> so we're gonna go up into save new brush presets, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's where we're gonna give it the name we want it to be. So we're right? gonna <laughs> change this one. We're mm -hmm. gonna call this screen tone. Or mm -hmm. how about how about just cross hatching cross, -hatch. cross hatching brush? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Cross hatching brush. There we go, perfect. And then we go into uh, load from icon, icon library. library, so we can actually be like, okay, what do we want it to look like? And if you go all the way down, you'll you'll be able to see what Krita will um, categorize as a pattern, you know, like a pattern brush. And it has like the little bit of these little dots in the corner. There we go. Yeah. Super cool. And don't worry, nothing's gonna be to the left, you know, of that icon. But you can press you can press oh. OK, and that's and then in this box, just remember you got one chance to do this. You can actually show, you know, as an example of what the brush really is doing, you know, which is really nice. So that's kind of a cool effect that it does, just so that you know what it you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just go crazy with it. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. And then now that this is a cross hatching brush, you're good to go. You I can save it. Just this. save it. There we go, and it's gonna actually be. You know, in you know, you might not be able to find it. You could always search for it too, mm -hmm. and then add a tag to make sure you you have it in the right spot. Yeah, that's that's important to organize the cross hatching brushes. Yeah. So to find it, you go down to the search box down at the bottom of the brush presets. There we go. Is it, oh, I think it's I think it's a capital C. It's a capital C. It's very specific. And there it is. Not there. Not there yet. So. Oh, maybe because it's in textures. Oh, that's And where it's in all. all. There it is. There it is. Right there. Oh. We got it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You'll find it. It's going to happen. So it's all alphabetical. Yeah. And then you might want to give this a new tag. So say you want hatching brushes. You can actually create a new tag here as well. You hit the, the uh, right left. Mouse. Right mouse. Right Dyslexic mouse button. Moment. Right mouse moment. <laughs> Assign to tag. You can create a new tag down at the far bottom. Oh, yes. And, put... and just call it hatching. Yeah. Right? That'd be kind of nice to do. There we go. Then we press the plus. And then I think it is automatically assigned to it. The tags it hatching. There you go. Yep, you can see it right down nice. there. Tags hatching. 
Awesome. We did it. Sorry we did it. <laughs> okay. No, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, now let's try, uh, we want to show you how to make a just a uh, regular hatching brush. Yeah. And, and we're going to alter the same brush. Again. Again. So we're going to go back to uh, the uh, uh, screen tone moir brush and you yeah. can find that in inking and there we go. Now because we actually uh, already altered this, so yeah, you're going to want to go into the, the editing, edit, edit settings. Brush settings. Yeah. Now this is a, like set up as if, you know, uh, the brush we already had, you know. Yeah. So we wanted to sort of go back to its original setting because it'd be easier to deal with. So if you actually go back down to temporarily save tweaks to preset, unclick that. And, and it then, will go right back to normal, right back to the more pattern. So if you check on kind of just clear that out mm -hmm. and then see it's right back to where yeah. the what the brush originally yeah. was it's full preset mode so yeah. it's, it's perfect now this is going to be the same alteration but a little bit different so if you actually go down to uh, the cross hatching style below all the slide bars mm -hmm. and then you're going to want to uh, click uh, no cross hatching and that's just going to give you completely parallel lines Nice. So if we can try that out, if we actually click temporarily save tweaks and presets. Yes. And then we try it out on the comic page. Yeah? Yes. There we go. And you'll be able to actually once again experiment because the line might be too thick. Um, and you might separate. not like the direction either of the it, line. Exactly. That's a very important. Well, that's very important. So let's yeah. undo mm -hmm. this oh, layer. Uh, wrong, wrong <laughs> layer. There we go. And then we'll go back to edit brush settings. Mm -hmm. So we weren't crazy about that. Was it in the right direction or mm -hmm. or the size? So here's where you could change that angle. So up here, you could mm -hmm. change the angle. You could type it in. You could you could either click on these. And there's also these little arrows that are next to the degrees. You yeah. can actually like click it one at a time, which will give you a little bit more precision if you want that. So it's kind of cool. But it, it's neat because it snaps immediately. And I would just keep it at a negative 45 degrees. Yeah, I, just to I sort like of keep that. It that way. And this is where you do want to change the line thickness and the separation of the lines. Yeah. So just so that it works with, you know, your image. So make it thinner. Mm -hmm. Let's try to let's see. Let's see how this works out in the sketch pad. There we go. Cool. Should we you make the line that? a little thinner? I think that might be at the line just a thick. Yeah. Let's see. Awesome. I think just a little bit more. A little more, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, okay, mm, that's cool. That. Yes, give it a try. And then this is the same thing. It's going to be saving its temporary settings, and you get to try this out on your uh, comic, yeah. which is nice. So just click into your comic, and there you go. I don't know. What do you think? I think it could be even uh, uh, closer together. There you go. I, I agree with that. It's still pretty cool, though. <laughs> so we can okay. edit. undo. So we can okay. just have fun. Try it again. Yeah, let's try it again. Okay, okay. go back to brush edit. Edit mm -hmm. brush settings. There we go. Do little... that down to two. There you go. Two five. Nice. Boom. Got it. There you go. Let's try on the little test and nice. I think a little bit closer maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I like That's that. That's gonna be good. Let's try That's that. Nice. Exactly. Okay. Try it on the comic. Ooh. Also, the brush size is interesting because it's going to be a huge size, yeah. you know what I mean? So, so you can make this smaller to get little mm -hmm. detail parts. Yeah. And it's nice because you can just get those small details that you would want, you know, without having this giant area. Because you know, you'd have to go back and erase some of this, you know, later on. So if you change that size of your brush, you got a lot more control. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I gotta say. I gotta say. And you can experiment and even and even go thicker and uh, on top of the, those lines. So go back to edit brush settings mm -hmm. and maybe you want the uh, size a little thicker. Mm -hmm. And then you could even try again to experiment over it, you and it could it could that. see that difference. So that mm -hmm. adds a little more extra to to it. So it's mm -hmm. not like you're stuck with one thing, and it kind of gives you that extra little extra to it. Yeah, and you can save it like this too. So if you like that thickness, then then you can save it yeah. exactly in these settings. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's yeah. save. The, let's make that as a brush itself. So we go mm -hmm. back to that edit brush settings here, mm -hmm. the brush editor. And then we go to save, save brush, brush preset. preset. And and that was um, set at negative 45 degrees. Yes. So if so we do a, that. yeah, we can call it hatching brush. And just to keep it specific, I would put a, 40, a negative 45 degrees point. You can put a period just because it, it doesn't have that 
Per- yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> so much. It doesn't have the little degrees, you know, thing. So, yeah. Then we'll go to load from icon library. We go all the way down to that texture icon that they like to have in right, there. Right, the pattern Perfect. here. Perfect. Pattern icon, yeah. Okay. Press OK. And then once again, you have one last, you know, one chance no, to... one chance to... <laughs> make it work. <laughs> there we go. That's cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. And we're good. And then we'll just save, save it. Save it. And then again, you could just make a tag, and you could just find it in the search mm-hmm. search bar. And the hatching okay. brush. Hopefully it's there, but it's not. Oh, I think oh, it is. It does a little drop down there for the it assistance. It does, but it's, if, you have to mm. usually go under all, and then it'll be there. It'll be there so somewhere. So see, there's cross hatching. So it is, it is, it's, there it is. Oh, here, there's other yeah. ones we've made. We've been fooling around. <laughs> so we've made a lot of brushes for fun. some eagle-eyed viewers noticed it last video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which was very good. Yeah. So, yeah. So mm-hmm. under all, mm-hmm. and hatching. Mm-hmm. There we go. So we just call the hatching brush. Negative 45. That was one of the We want to change the tag for this, right? Yes. So, so we just right click. organize it. And we assign to a tag and we assign it, assign, assign it to hatching, right? Yeah. I think it's under FX because it's alphabetical. Oh, you're right. There it is. Yeah. So just right click your mouse to add a tag. Here we go. There also, there's another way. If we come to this brush and then go back up to the brush engine editor, all the way up to the editor, because we selected this one. I just wanted to show how to do an, a, a perpendicular oh, yeah. uh, line so you could actually layer them on top of each other. So keep stay in this brush. Remember, we can stay in this brush mm-hmm. and then go into the actual editor itself, and we can alter this one. So yes. all we have to do is um, change, change it to angle. a positive 45 degrees. So, yeah. Let's see if it clicks. It, yeah, it's like a magnetic. It'll be... There, there we go. go. Perfect. So that's that's that's. <laughs> or you could just type it in. I don't you know why I do in. that. <laughs> well, it's neat. It's neat. That's all. Yeah. So it's fun. And you could test it on mm-hmm. the on the Sketchpad too if you want. And we're gonna uh, pop it into the comic and see how it comes out. So okay. here we go. Mm-hmm. And see, look at that. Look so at you, that. you've created two brushes that will have a cross hatching result that you have to layer over each other. And that's kind of a fun thing to, to mess around with. I agree. Know? I, like I mean, you that. can actually give this different colors. You, you know, you don't have to think that you're limited to black and white with these. I you agree. Know? There's a lot of use for brushes like this, I think. You know, you just have to experiment if you want it to look that way, to be honest. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, these brushes are fun. Yeah, exactly. You know? Cool. Yeah. Oh, also, we want to show you this, oh, we, too. We need to save this one because we altered this oh, as a right. negative 45. You're right. So now we have to save it as, as just a 45, 45 degree. degree. Exactly. Let's go up to the brush editor to do that before I get too excited. <laughs> okay. Um, mm-hmm. So we're going to save new brush. Save new brush preset. There we go. Now we're going to rename this to, to 45. So we'll just mm-hmm. re- get rid of the negative and get rid of the copy. Mm-hmm. And we're going to load, load from, from icon icon. library. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Go all the way down to that pattern or texture, whatever you want to call it. Press OK. okay. And then you're going to go for it. Boom. Nice. Nice. There we go. Okay. And then we will press save. Save. Exactly. And And that's yours. And because it's right there, now it's inside, you know, we can actually assign it to the hatching tag. uh, tag. So just right click your mouse and assign assign to to tag Mm -hmm. and then go down to hatching. hatching. There we go. There we go. So, nice. Right? Yes. Oh, there's one last thing we wanted to show about patterns. Yes. Right? And that's kind of a fun thing. Yeah. So. And this again, we're going to we're gonna do this in Noir. So I'm going to go into Textures, mm-hmm. going into Screen Tone Noir again, uh, and then going into the Brush, the editor, brush editor. editor. Okay. See, now it's back. So mm-hmm. just remember to uh, cl- un- you know, click, unclick temporarily saved tweet. Tweaks presets, mm-hmm. and, and it then goes it goes back to its right original back. settings. Okay, mm-hmm. so and we're gonna make this one uh, like a, a perpendicular planes only. Is it, are we gonna make it a, a hatching brush or a cross hatching brush? No, we're just gonna keep. If you just keep it, I think personally, I just really like this look. Okay. If you keep it at more pattern, uh, and you can go into pattern on this side here and make sure you click it, because mm-hmm. we, just just as an example, when you don't click it, you can't use it. So when you click it, it'll give you uh, options to input a pattern. 
So you'll have the more brush, but you'll have it with a cool pattern and it kind of mm. adds, it adds a neat texture. So it kind of makes your art stand out more yeah. in the way that you're not stuck with just this, that um, one yeah. single texture of just, you know, stripes. Yeah, it's just super opaque. Yeah. You know, or whatever the color may be. That's really neat yeah. though. Yeah, I, I just really like that kind of, it mm -hmm. gives it a really fun effect. So just, I recommend going in and experimenting and, and uh, you can also save these as a brush itself. Exactly. By the same way. <laughs> yeah, exactly the same way. Yeah. And whatever you like, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that you've gotten this far into the video, yes. we congratulate you and thank you. <laughs> Honestly, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and we want to let uh, everybody know that we're going to put uh, these, what did we make? Four brushes? Three brushes. We're going to create, we're going to leave these brushes that we created on our uh, gum road. Gum road. Yeah, so it will surprise you <laughs> with what brushes we we. Yeah. We give. We'll update. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening and hanging out. We really hope this helps you and, uh, or at least, you know, gives you something fun to experiment with. Yeah. On your art, Adds you to know? your comic and your manga and just makes, just makes your art more fun. Makes it easier for you. Makes yeah. it easier for us when we want a nice cross hatching or a hatching brush. Yeah. So, yeah, right? <laughs> Definitely. Okay. All right. That's it, eh? Yeah. Thank okay. you. Moss Charmly out. out.